everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this vlog. This vlog is my reveal of my collaboration with the lovely Becky from What Becky Sews and Shannon from The Sewing Warehouse. So if you've watched my other vlog where we talked about ideas and inspiration, I'll link it up here or up here. We purchased this spectacle fabric. Myself, Becky and Shannon purchased this fabric at the Sewing for Pleasure fair that was on at the NEC a couple, oh, when was it? A couple of months ago. I can't actually remember. Um, so um, we all fell in love with this fabric. I've been raving about the Chloe Chambray and they only, I think they only had a few Chloe Chambrays in at the venue and this was one of them and we all fell in love with this fabric. So it's a visco it's a Chloe Chambray, which is a cross between a viscose viscose linen mix. I can't remember the percentage, but I'll put it here. I think it's 60-40 um, viscose, but I'll put it here so you know um, the content. And it's just got a lovely bit of weight to it, yet still very drapey, and it's just a dream to sew. So I would picked up this type, this fabric base to Becky and Shannon. They fell in love with this fabric, so we ended up all buying two metres of it. And then we had the great idea that why don't we do a three-way collaboration? So that's what we did. And my other vlog I shared with you all the different ideas that I had that I wanted to make up in this. And there were quite a few ideas um, that I had regarding what I wanted to make up. But the one that I set my heart on was the Davenport dress. So the Davenport dress is a dress by Friday Pattern Company. It's one that I've never really liked from looking at the stock photo on the front of the pattern. I'll put a picture of what I mean. And I think there's a couple of patterns that Friday Pattern Company did, which were their earlier ones, where the stock photos aren't the greatest compared to their other ones. They don't make me look at it and think, I want to make that up. And the Davenport was one of those, and so is the wrap dress, and I can never remember the name of it. But those two, I just think the stock photos aren't the usual stylish stock photos that they usually use and that Chelsea is known for really because she's such a such a fashionable kind of unique style and that comes across in all of her photos but I think those two need to be reshot. Anyway, long story short, the fabric that it's made in is quite a heavy cotton I think on the picture and it makes it look, I don't know, it just makes it look dated, I don't like it. However, it's a very popular pattern in the sewing community and Becky from What Beck Sews and Sally from the Staffordshire Sewist rave about it and whenever I see those two ladies in their Davenport, I love them and I'm always like that's a Davenport isn't it and I can tell straight away that it's a Davenport and I always think they look absolutely stunning. And recently when I went to the dressmakers ball, Nadia from Stitch and Style by Nadia on the last on the morning after the ball we met for breakfast and she was wearing a davenport she hadn't got the frills on and it was a short version kind of tunic length and it looked absolutely stunning if you can find a picture of her instagram i'll put it up and i really liked it so that kind of sealed the deal really and i thought i really want to try this pattern and i thought this would be the perfect fabric for it now it is quite fabric hungry the pattern um, I think it's 2.73 metres or something like that. Um, so I knew I wouldn't be able to get the full Davenport out of this fabric, but I thought maybe I can get this tunic style. There's quite a lot of pa pattern pieces. So I did play pattern Tetris. Obviously, this is directional as well. So I, I didn't pattern match because there's no way I was going to be able to pattern match these faces at all. I didn't have enough fabric. So there's a couple of things that I could cut out to save fabric the frill was one of them obviously and i would but i would need to lengthen the skirt this is the unadjusted skirt piece so that's the skirt attaches to the bodice and then you have the frill on the bottom so there's a couple of options and then there's these frill pieces as well so some of the options i toyed with is making it short sleeved but then i thought i really like the one of the details that i really like is the cuff detail so that wouldn't work and I also really like these frills as well so I really wanted to do those as well um, so I played around and I decided that I was going to 
lengthen the skirt front and back and I did it by about five and a half inches so you can see this is lengthened and that gave me a nice skirt length once I'd hemmed it. There's a front yoke and a back yoke. I was able to get the front yoke, both pieces out of this fabric, but the back yoke, I used a navy cotton that I had in my stash. And I also could have used the navy cotton for the underneath of this. And this doesn't call for the pattern to do this, but, the, but Rachel from um, Stitched Up always talks about facing her frills because she just thinks it looks better than the, the other side and I do agree with her. Now I could have used the navy because I think that would have looked nice as a pop of colour but I was actually lucky enough to have the fabric so they are faced. I didn't use the fabric for the drawstring so there's a drawstring casing through the middle and you use the fabric, the pattern tells you to use the fabric that you are making the dress in, which is fine. But I actually used um, a drawstring, which I'll show you in a minute. And the other big piece is the pockets. So the pockets have a facing and um, a, um, uh, a facing and then a piece that you can see. So I'll just show you the pocket. You can see there the pocket. So obviously this bit couldn't be the cotton, but that is the cotton because they're quite big pieces. I'll show you the drawstring. So you can see I've just used a black drawstring there, which I'm quite happy with. So yeah, so I managed to piece it all together and got that out of two meters. Now I used every single scrap of this fabric. There are literally shreds left. There's not anything in my scrap drawer or anything because literally it was just like shreds of fabric. So it's been really, really good exercise getting this out of this fabric. And I'll put some pictures in of it, but let me just turn around and show you. I think it's a really nice length, so it's just above the knee. The pockets are great, really comfy pockets. Now, there is one thing that I'm not quite happy with on the pockets, and I'll point it out to you. You can see they're just bagging a little bit there, so at one some point I need to unpick the sides and just kind of tuck that in a little bit. Just needs a little bit of a tuck there. So I'm hoping I can get away by putting that in the side seams. Now, I think why that is is because the cotton is a slightly different weight a little bit heavier weight and stiffer than the actual um, viscose linen but you know it's not really noticeable I know it's there but I will I will fix that and back yoke you can see the back yoke there and yeah really really happy with it and I love it and I just love these cuffs I feel like these cuffs are a little bit short I don't know if they're meant to be that short but I'm not particularly tall and I think anybody that was tall if they wanted these cuffs down to the to their wrists it would um need lengthening but yes that is my Davenport and I love it so we're in a different setting at the moment because it's night time and I'm recording this I'm going to London tomorrow and I need to get this this film before I go so hence why we are upstairs with some better lighting but if the lighting's not great I do apologize but it's the only way I could get this filmed now the nights are getting darker. Now I managed to sew this up really quickly. I made a side medium and that's purely because I'd cut out a medium. I actually think based on my measurements I'm a large. However I had been told it's quite oversized and I think this fits nice. I don't think I need to worry about it um, but I do quite like an oversized look so a large might have been a nicer fit. So I always recommend you check the final measurements on a on a Friday pattern company because a lot of their outfits are oversized. Now I sewed this up really quickly. I cut it out and I would say I sewed it up. You could get this sewn up in a day very easily. It's got some beautiful techniques. It's got lovely front and back yokes and uses the burrito method for those. These go in lovely. The sleeves are gorgeous. And this little neck lining has just got a little bit of elastic in which is really nice. I'm a bit disappointed I used navy thread though because I think it stands out quite a lot and I wish I'd probably used something a bit paler but that's a lesson learned. But I'm really, really happy. I think this is a pattern that you could get away with not twirling because it's loose enough and oversized enough to get away with that but that's just my personal opinion. The other thing that I will say about this pattern is I'd gone from making the Elspeth dress by Style Arc, which we all know, great patterns but the instructions are a bit sparse. Went from making that which was a journey to this. And this was such a pleasant experience. All of the notches matched up, the instructions were clear. 
Chelsea from Friday Pattern Company really is amazing. She really, really is. It makes it such an enjoyable experience. And you know, sometimes when you question your sewing ability, when you're doing quite a hard pattern, all the instructions are quite difficult to understand. And you think, God, I'm just not very good at this. A palette cleanser like this is amazing. And actually doing something like going back to a Friday Pattern Company pattern after not doing one for a while, such a breath of fresh air because it just made me think, actually there is a lot to be said for the instructions um it's not just about the skill of the sewist so yeah thank you i'd like to thank chelsea because it's made me feel like i can actually sew <laughs> by doing this now i did most of it on friday evening and then on saturday i went to becky's social and shannon was there and becky and we were all working on our project so we got some cool photographs which i'll insert and we also got some photographs of us in our final garments so i'll put some photographs of me wearing this you know my hair and makeup done <laughs> and my tights on and um i will also put a picture of, of me becky and shannon in our final garments now i'm not going to go into too much about what they made because i'd love you to go and check out their vlogs but i will put a picture of us in our final garments at the end um please head over to their vlogs um i'll put the links to their vlogs in my description section okay so this is a little bit of a quick vlog i hope you've enjoyed enjoyed this vlog i can highly recommend the davenport i love it i would like to make one with a frill and it's something that i think i'm going to look at doing i'd also like to make one long with a frill maybe frill tears i don't know um but i've got a lot to play with. i really really like the frills i am a frill person you know i am and yeah i love it so i recommend if you haven't made the davenport and it's been holding you back because you perhaps haven't liked the style or something then please go ahead and make it because i cannot recommend it enough Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I have need to pack now for London and I will get this edited while I'm away and we are revealing, hopefully, on the 31st of October, which is Halloween, and I'll be taking this to London with me because I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Okay, that's all for me for now and I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye.